this is one I am honest, like I'm glad I'm asking you this because I get angry when I see this topic in the headlines and this misinformation that's out there. All right. Quote from the headlines. Should I store my tomatoes in the fridge? Question mark. I say no. We actually put that on our on our packages. Um, tomatoes are grown on on the vine and, you know, with with sunlight and with natural ambiance. So what will it hurt your tomato? I don't think so. Um, we've always just kept ours on the counter. Plus, it's much more convenient when you want a snack, when you're looking right at it, when you're just walking by. Um, I I store mine on, on the counter. We also advise to store, or at least our, for sure, our snacking tomatoes on, on um, the counter. Now, I will say the to-go packaging, because I have to do the shameless plug, has was, was specifically made as proprietary so that if you do happen to store your lunchbox or something in the fridge when you are at school or at work or, or something, the packaging will actually keep the tomatoes very fresh. Um, so that's like the one time I'd say it's okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd leave them on the counter. They're much easier to just pick up and snack on as you're walking by. I, I love that. See, and I think that it really changes the texture of them once you refrigerate them. And so that's why I'm very anti-refrigeration. Keep those babies on the countertop, folks. All right, here's another one. Now, before I ask you this one, let's let's clear up where Nature Suite has growing operations, if you don't mind. Um, we've already cleared the, we've already set the tone. This is a greenhouse grower. I wholeheartedly believe that greenhouse growing, grown tomatoes are the most flavorful. And to Lori's point, you've got that consistency in flavor and in price year round, which I mean, how important is that right now? Super important. So we, let me just kind of, I guess, level set where we are. So we have this vertically integrated platform, which is really important. Those two words are, are super critical because we are one of the few, if not the only within our industry anyway, that can actually tell you how and where and when that product was picked, packed and shipped down to the row. And now we're even getting better with down to the person. So if you ever buy one of our 10 ounce um, packages and you open it, you're going to see a beautiful face smiling right back at you that you can scan a QR code with. And it will tell you where it was from, how it was like the date it was packed. I mean, it's incredible. And that's different again, because not only is it greenhouse, but we're not migratory. So our associates stay with us. We've got over 5,000 plus associates, um, not including the joint venture that we recently um, made with Ganfer, but we've got eight facilities um, across Mexico, Wilcox, Arizona, and with the JV, which is over, and I'm going off the top of my mind, um, 1,400 acres, which is huge. Um, and we just recently added another 160 acres. Right. So that is just, it's a lot of tomatoes. It's a lot of produce, greenhouse produce. That's why you always see the nature sweet tomatoes wherever you're shopping. They're usually there um, because they have such high volume. Um, okay. So knowing that, knowing where your growing operations are at, really helpful. Here's a headline. Can't wait to, this is from CBS News. One in four of all tomatoes on the planet are grown in the state of California. Thoughts? I think that that, so when we're talking tomatoes, big, small beefs, romas, processed, canned, snacking, right? Like this is, that's interesting. And I have, I think, a couple of thoughts on that. So if we're going for pound or yield, like, I have zero evidence to argue that off the top of my head because something tells me it's not snacking. It's not, uh, you know, for grown for flavor. These are probably pounds coming out that you'll see in salsas or, you know, that, that get repackaged or processed somewhere else. What I do know, this is actually facts um, supported by IRI is one in $3 on every snacking tomato is nature's weight. 